board the Ducati 748 SP. I've got to say, straight from the get-go, it just feels so sporty and wanting to go. Now, we're still warming the bike up. It's only been running for about 10 minutes, so we'll let the oil get some temperature in it and the tyres. As you may be able to see from the video footage, the mirrors aren't the best, but you don't buy a 748 to run to the supermarket on. This is a back row blasting bike. And in all honesty, if you've bought an SP, they're only gonna go up in value. Something that really surprises me with the 748 is just how rev happy it is. I mean, it really demands the best from you in terms of getting the power out of it, which is just not what you expect for a V-twin. noise on that intake and then as you come down the revs you've just got the absolute thunder of the 50 millimeter race termies on there just beautiful and now this is when you realize you're on a sports bike you slow back down and all the weight is on your wrist now the clutch on the 748 isn't particularly light it really is a handful especially if you're trying to hold it in traffic but we're only going to be touching small sections of 30 today so we'll just enjoy the road with this glorious sunshine you'll be able to hear the truly sensational intake noise just as it hits 8000 talk about on the 748 is obviously the handling it's just as I say it's in its own world in that sense for such an old bike you've got to respect it but at the same time mid corner I don't think there's a lot close to it it just ensures constant feedback to the rider and makes you just want to push on more and more and coupled with the noise just Also for a bike at this time, again I do have to remind you this is 1995, the thing is 21 years old and it still stops as well as you'd expect for a modern superbike, let alone something that's 21 years old. If you're looking for a sports bike with a bit of character that should only go up in value, 
the 748 really is a good call now with the SP model it does feature a few additional items over the standard by poster model this includes the Olin's damper the aluminium rear subframe and the mono rear seat there's a few engine internal changes on the pistons the cams and it also comes with an oil cooler it's quite easy to spot an SP over standard if you know what you're looking for but there are a lot of replicas out there that have just had the mono seat fitted and of course you could just fit the Olin's damper Now while we're running through this section, I'd just like to talk about the mid-range. As I said, a lot of people expect it to be a real grunt and have a lot of power. I mean, we're in third gear now, wrist down. I mean, it takes off, but for a V-twin, it's not the most powerful. In all honesty, I'd say a modern day 600 has a similar sort of mid-range. But what you don't get with the 600 is that noise. doesn't come with a lot of luxuries we've got a speedo rev counter a temperature gauge all the essentials for a fast riding package but none of the luxuries just a fuel light with a reserve no oil temperature recording no abs it's as raw as it can be with biking and sadly with the future ahead of us this will be a dying breed like most the biggest thing that draws you to the 748 is its looks I mean how did they do it back in 1995 to lock something that would just be such an iconic shape for years and the funny thing with this is is anywhere I go petrol stations pub car parks it just draws attention <laughs> 